Warning, F-bombs are armed and will probably be dropped. Inevitably be dropped. My old man sent me a link to a video of no mandate giving a speech about the California blackouts. Now, he did go to say a few kind things, ironically enough, about Trump, of all people. But, yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, Gavin's case in chief here was to blame PG&E for the blackouts. That is a lie. That is an absolute lie. And I was living in California when that shitstorm hit. Correction. I was living in California when it was the Tropical Depression wildfire. It did start with the deregulation, and that was something that was backed very heavily by Pete Wilson, who was a Republican. But it was also backed by the Democrats and a lot of other people. There were those of us who said, this is a bad idea, let's not do this, or at least let's think twice about it. They didn't give a fuck. They were just like, oh yeah, we're going to get cheap electricity, we're going to deregulate, bye! Yeah, right, fuck you. I also want to step up and say that people like Gray Davis, who was blamed for the rolling blackouts, are legitimately the heroes of the story. Gray Davis is not the only one, but he's the biggest one. Certainly the, the biggest single hero of that story, because he's the one that got the lights back on. And now, Gray... Uh, uh, not Gray... Um, no mandate has the absolute fucking gall, nerve, to blame PG&E for the blackouts. No, fuck you, dude. I remember back in the 90s when you were saying that we had to protect the environment and complaining about PG&E cutting trees that were right next to power poles. Literally, right next to power poles. And your people were bitching about that because... It's not environmentally sound, or some shit like that. I remember environmental was a word used. Fuck you, this is going to take out power poles and kill people. Well, what do I know? I'm just a high schooler, right? What do I know? I'm just a college student. Well, we all could see the writing on the wall, and we could see who was writing it, by the way. Now, the policies that you demanded killed a hundred people in paradise and you want us to give a flying fuck about your opinion on the matter Gavin Newsom you created the paradise fire you took over the party that created the uh, uh, paradise fire you own it and you're trying to blame PG&E on it now, granted PG&E did some stupid shit like, not properly maintaining their equipment. But your policies created it. Fuck you. That's 100 counts of murder that belong on you. Don't ever lie to Mike. I call it every single fucking time. If you had any decency at all, you'd commit seppuku. The rest of you, keep calm, mandatory carry on, and don't ever fucking vote for Gavin Newsom.